Hey, Stephen. What's up, buddy? Can you hear me? I think you'd be able to hear me. I think my microphone's on. Oh, man. How are you, bud? I could hear me. Okay, good. Yeah, I just made a pot of coffee, so. I just got home now. I had to go to the... Um, Hey, Miss Shante. How are you? Yeah. I'm all right, I guess. I had to go up and see my, uh, hey, Bud Files. I had to go up and see my uh, pain management lady. And um, as you can tell in the title, I said I need some friends around because they gave me some results from my tests. So, you know, I'm responding to the cancer meds and uh, treatments and stuff. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to get in. I promised Mary that I'd wait for her. Hey, John Paul, how are you, buddy? I I'm told Mary I'll wait until I talk about it. But um yeah, I need I need my friends here. Uh, <clears throat> How you doing, Bud Files? I saw you this morning. You came in and then uh, I don't know what happened. Like you left right away. I didn't see you the rest of the stream. I got ten people and five thumbs up. I appreciate you guys being here really. Thank you for responding. So well, I do appreciate it so much. Thank you. Like I said, I'm just gonna wait. If you can stick around, please. You know, if you're here, just hit that thumbs up button for me if you don't mind. And I'm just waiting for Mary to get here, Mary Bruce. So I promised her I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about it till she got here. So, so I just messaged with her, and she said, "Please wait for me." She just wanted to take a quick shower. Thanks, Stephen. I appreciate it, man. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I just got back. I stopped at the supermarket. I went. I had to pick up uh, some cream because I'm going to make the soup after I get off the live. Hey, Terry, how you doing, sweetheart? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it very, very much. Yeah, just stick around. Just, just wait for Mary to get here, guys, please, and then I'll, uh, I'll give you guys the news. But, um, they are adjusting my meds. Um, they're going to be giving me stronger pain meds. Um, probably picking them up on Friday. When I go for my treatment, but um, I don't want to get into what I want to say yet until Mary gets here. I promised her that. Uh, she had a flood in her basement. Her son was there helping her. She just wanted to take a quick shower. And I told her I'd wait for her. So I told her I'd, I'd be on in 15 minutes, and I'll wait for her. So out of respect, I'm going to wait. But uh, if you want to be here and you want to hear the results and that I got. Um, that's why I said I need you here. Um, I need my friends right now. I'm not in the best of spirits right now, so just be here for me, please. Um, hi, Laura. How are you, sweetheart? Hope you're doing good, Laura. Uh, appreciate you being here, everybody. I do, more than you know. <clears throat> Yep, bro, I'm here for you. Thanks, Stephen. You, you always have been, man, and I appreciate you for it, man. Thank you. I'm going to disconnect this wire for one second. I'm just going to go fill up the rest of my coffee. Just let everybody file in, and like I said, just waiting for Mary to get here. I'm going to be here in like five minutes. <clears throat> Put this coffee down and I'm gonna I wanna get my slippers. The ground is cold. The ground, I don't mean the ground like outside ground, I mean like my floor. <laughs> it's tile, it's tile floor and it's cold, even with socks on. So I'm just gonna throw my slippers on because I have jeans and I didn't change yet. I just got back. And my jeans are dragging on the floor, being a pain in the ass. I just throw my slippers on so my feet are warm. Yeah. 
How's everybody doing today, though? Oh, man. Even though I don't comment a lot, I'm always in the chat, even when I'm at work. I have you playing, just not saying anything in the chat. I hear you. Thank you, man. Just came in for my 3 o'clock break, praying for you, my brother. Much love. Thank you, country. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I can't, I can't talk about the results just yet. I'm waiting for uh, my friend Mary to come in, country. If you want to stick around for a few minutes, she'll be here. She's just taking... She said she's going to take a quick shower. I just don't. I just don't want to break the news to everybody until she gets here. Uh, if you can wait, she should be here in about five minutes or so. so. I would love for you to be here so I can give you the news. Um, I told everybody once I got the, the news, I'll update you, and I will update you as soon as she gets here. Hopefully, you can wait for a few minutes. I do appreciate that, bro. <clears throat> Oh, that's good. That's hot. It feels good, though. It is nasty outside. Thank you, country. I appreciate that, brother. It is nasty outside. It's cold and raining and just, just yucky is the only word I can come up with. Good day to, not even a good day to be a duck. God is in control. I know, brother. What's happening, brother? Praying and love you, brother. I love you too, Scratch Jack. Thanks for being here, brother. I'm just waiting for one per one person in particular to get here. She says she's going to take a shower and uh, she'll be here. So I um, hope you can get here shortly because I want you guys all to be here. I'm going to text her right now. I, just, I love the fact that that's why I love you guys. I love the fact that I need to call on you guys. You're here for me. I appreciate it. Got 10 people and 10 thumbs up. That is perfection. Thank you, everybody. I'm listening, but driving home in the rain. Be careful, Terry. Just drive. And like I said, I'm just waiting for Mary to get here. I just text her and tell her if she can hurry it up a little bit because I know not everybody can stay long. So I might have torn my ACL yesterday. Oh, damn. That sucks. Sorry to hear that, bro. How you doing, Scratch Jack? Are you able to get away from the uh, shop today? Are you going to go live? That's another reason why I did it at this time, because I know you usually go live around 4, 4.30 with your big rolling group. So I didn't want to. Um, God is with you, bro. I know. Thank you, Stephen. I appreciate it, man. Good afternoon, Fisher for Claimers and everyone. What's up, Scott Lambert? How you doing, brother? Thanks for being here, man. Just hang around for a few minutes. I'm just waiting on Mary to get here. So then I can, uh, I was up at the cancer center today, guys. I went up for um, my monthly checkup with my uh, my pain and palliative, which if you don't know what that is, uh, not going live today. We'll do it tomorrow. All right, cool. Uh, that's even better, actually, because I'm going to be making some soup after this. But um, that's good, Scott. Good to hear, man. So um, they're adjusting my meds a little bit, my pain meds. Um, cause I've been, I've been in a lot of pain this month and they're going to increase the dosage of my, of my pain meds. So I'm going to get those on Friday. I think when I go for my treatment, but, um, I'm going live at five 30. All right. Beautiful. I'll try to pop in, man. I got a couple places I got to go. I'll come in for about 20 minutes, half hours. I'm going to be making soups. And, um, I promised, uh, skip Jack Cindy. I jump into her live. She's going to be fishing. I'm going over there with my dad. And then at 8.30, just so you guys know, it's Carolina Scratcher's birthday today. So go over and show her some love. She's doing tickets from North Carolina and South Carolina. And she's going live at 8.30 tonight. So if you're around, go in there and just wish her a happy birthday. She comes in here. You guys know who she is. She's a sweetheart. So. <clears throat> Hello, Scoot. I like. I have a buddy, Scott. My buddy, my actually my uh, my best friend, his brother's name is Scott. We used to call him Scooter. <laughs> 14 people and 12 thumbs up I, I love it man thank you guys so much come on mary where are you i'm gonna have to do this announcement without you darling i'm sorry please hurry up okay thanks gerald we'll do we'll do what we'll do what laura i don't even know what i asked only thing I ask is hit the thumbs up button. Just keep me in the algorithm. 
keep keep putting my content out. That's all I ask me all. Oh, Carolina's birthday. Yeah, go check her out, man. Please go go uh, wish her a happy birthday. And 8.30, she'll be live. She's doing, I think she said she went and got tickets from South Carolina. She's got South Carolina and North Carolina tickets. She was live last night for a little test for a little while. I popped in there and uh, she was in here this morning in my live. So like I said, I'm going to go by Skipjack Cindy. I'll go by country like 5.30. And then 6 o'clock, I'm going to go over by Skipjack Cindy because I promised her. I go over there and check out her fishing live. Going for catfish. And then um, my dad's going to go there with me on his. He'll be on his phone from home and I'll be here. My name is Scott, but some people called me Scooter or Vegemite. I never heard of Vegemite. That's kind of weird. But, um, I don't know what I should do here. Are you, guys, are you guys willing to wait until Mary gets in here, or should I tell you guys, and then I can tell her again when she gets here? Let me know. Give me a consensus in the, in the room, because I just had 15 people and four left already. So I just I want you guys here so I can tell you. Um, I wanted my friends around when I, when I told you guys the news. Um, so I as you tell the time plus that friend. You all know this this uh my health situation, most of you know, and I can be here for another ten minutes or so. Okay. Thanks, uh Steven. Vegemite is what they call peanut butter and yeah, it's something that they they eat in uh Australia, but I just don't see the where Scott and Vegemite really works, but Yes, we can wait. Okay. Yeah, because I, I promised Mary. So I just don't know how long she's going to be. She said, like, you know, she didn't even give me a time. I just figured, you know, she said she was, her son was helping her do the basement. Text Mary to see if five minutes is five minutes. I, I text her. She didn't answer me back. So she might just be in the shower. <laughs> Terry's like, I want to know now. Oh me. Yeah, I just I, I I don't know. I'm a man of my word and I give people my promise. I don't like to break my promises. She didn't answer me back, but I mean I can I can tell you guys and then I can tell her. She's if she's not here, she won't know, right? I guess I can tell it again when she gets here, which is fine. I just don't want her to get mad at me, but so okay. I'm that way also, my brother. I know what you mean. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to sit here and make everybody wait. Like you said, you know, I know you're a long time country. You can't stay that long. You know, everybody got stuff to do. So, all right. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. So people that don't know, um, back in November, I was diagnosed with stage four uh, renal cell carcinoma, which is um, kidney cancer. Um, my left kidney is covered with, um, pretty much covered with tumors. Um, it's pretty bad. Um, it also has spread into a part of my liver, a part of my rib cage on my left side, um, two of my lymph nodes, and my right kidney, a small piece. Um, this past Friday, I had tests done for, um, I'm getting emotional already. Oh, me. I love you guys. I, I want you to know that. Just give me a second. Just got to get myself together here. So I had tests this past Friday to see how I'm responding to the immunotherapy and the medicine. And it wasn't her place to tell me, but she told me that I'm fucking doing great. I'm crying tears of joy. I'm doing good, guys. I didn't want you guys to worry, but I really wanted you here because I was so happy. She told me that she peeked at my at my um, screens of my test, and I'm responding well. My tumors are shrinking. Um, they're not gone, but they're shrinking. And um, whew, I'm sorry, guys. God is good. I'm telling you right now. The power of prayer is amazing. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm, I'm going to be very emotional right now. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I'm almost sad that I'm happy. It's scary because I've been so down in the dumps and I've been so nervous and worried. And I thought I was going to have to wait till Friday to get these results. And listen, I'm millions of miles away from being out of the woods, but. It's the best news I've gotten in six months from having this shit. 
And I just told I told her a story about my fish being hung up on Easter morning that my landlord came down and you know and when he he even said it to me that the smile I had on my face was amazing like I was so happy that he did it and you have no idea it's the small things in life guys that that really um, especially when you're sick like I am it's the little things that make you happy you know whether you know it's you know two for five on my favorite you know Taylor ham at the store or you know it's my buddy coming down on a holiday at 10 a.m. to hang up my fish because he knew what made me happy. It's the small things. Hey, Rocco. And um, I told her that story, and she's like, I can't hold it anymore. She's like, I need to tell you. I'm like, what? She goes, do you mind if I tell you your results? And I'm like, well, I thought I had to wait till Friday to hear it from doctor, from my doctor, from my oncologist. And she said, no, I can tell you now if you want. You know, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of it. She's like, I won't tell you the whole thing. I said, okay. I said, as long as it's good news. And she goes like this. She goes, it is. She's like, you know, you're, you're doing good. She's like, you're responding very well to the immunotherapy. Um, the tumors are shrinking um, tremendously. Um, they're still there. They're not gone. She said, you know, you're not out of the woods at all. Hey, scratching mama. Um, you know, I still have a long road ahead, guys. But, I t you know, for right now, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that for sure. I'll take the good news like that. You know, I'm... Why worry if you believe? No, yeah. Listen, you still worry, Shante. It's a natural um, human reaction to worry and to be upset, and you know, and happy. And I don't care who you are. You know, right now, my dad, my dad—that's what makes me even more sad. My dad grabbed me so hard when I told him because he wasn't in there with me. When I came out, I gave him a hard time just to mess with him. You know, just to like, like I was just in a bad mood. And I told him by the receptionist desk because I got to know the lady really well in the, the receptionist desk. And I told them both at the same time. And my dad grabbed me so hard and gave me such a hug and started crying. Yeah. You know? It's a it's a it's a big day, you know. Like I said, I'm I'm way out and way far from from out of the woods, guys. But right now, it's it's the best news I've had in six months. So I'm going to take it and run with it and just be happy. Like I told my dad, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm almost upset that I'm happy <laughs> because I've been so upset for months and worried this whole past week, you know, you know, it's not like I told him, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not overly happy. Like I'm not overly excited because I know at the end of it, you know, I still have cancer. I still have stage four cancer, but, and you know, it's, it still have a long road ahead, but you be happy and rejoice. Thank you, Caroline. I appreciate that, honey. I appreciate that. I told everybody to go check out your live later too for your birthday. And happy birthday, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I sh should have said that when as soon as I saw you. I'm sorry. I just have so much on my mind. <clears throat> but just thank you for being here and sharing that with me because I know you guys are probably thinking like, you know, the worst. But I did that for a reason because I wanted you all to be fucking happy. I know I've been a pain in the ass, you know, in a way with all this and, you know, always talking about my sickness and I'm so relieved for you, G. God is good. Thank you so much, Terry. Terry, I could cry tears of joy just for the fact that I know you alone. You have been a tremendous support system for me from the day I met you. And you've never let me down. And I mean that from the tears coming out of my eyes to the depths of my, my soul. I love you and I thank you so much for being a good friend. I really, really do. I really do. You have no idea how much I talk about you with my family. I talk about you with my doctors. You have been just, all of you have been so important to me. But there's a few of you that have been with me, riding riding with me from the first day I have found out. Terry's one, Scratch Act, Country. I mean, there's a lot, all of these, Rocco. I mean, there's just too many to mention, really, but. And then some of you have found out a little bit later and, you know, and stuff, but <sighs> Terry, you have no idea how much I appreciate you. I really do. <sighs> Thank you, text guy. I appreciate that. Thank you, Crystal. I knew it was great news. I woke up this morning and I had a feeling you were going to come on and say great news. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Thank you, darling. Never G ever let you down. I love you, my sweet friend. And I love you too. I really do. 
I mean, uh, from the depths of my soul, who have been a rock from day one, through thick, thin, through up, down, through accusations of people on here, through everything else, you stuck by me. And so as my other brother, Plasty, I fucking love you, man. I do. I love you, bro. With all my heart. You have been a good friend to me from the day I met you 10 years ago till now. You go out of your way sometimes in the middle of the day just to text me and say, bro, I hope you're doing good. The best you can be. <laughs> the way I said it to you the first time and you remembered it. And you, you always give me encouragement and tell me how much you care, you know. And I appreciate that. The country, always saying you're praying for me, man. Prayers work. I'm sorry I'm upset at crying, but these are tears of joy. These, these have been wanting to come out for so long. You have no idea. Is what, what you're thinking, Nicole. I got good news today that um, my body is responding to the to the treatments I'm getting, Nicole. And uh, some of my tumors were shrinking, and it's good news. I'm crying tears of joy. I'm not. I'm not. That's okay, Terry. We can ball together. You know, it's been it's been a long six months. Well, almost six months. It's been a very long six months. It changed my life tremendously. It, it, uh, it's okay, Mary. Mary, the, the, the news was that I got good news. Um, my my um, pain management lady told me she peeked at my charts, and she goes like this. He got good news. She said, you know, the, the tumors aren't gone, but they've shrunken tremendously, and I'm, my body is reacting um, to the treatments very well. And, you know, I have a long road ahead still, Mary, but um, – Love you too, brother. We've been through it. Yes, we have, Scratch Act. We've been through a lot of shit together, bro. And listen, you know, you're not down the road for me, man. I wish you were so we can hang out, go fishing, and be able to just, you know, be like, what's up, brother? You know, give a hug. But I love you, man. I do. You've been there for me. I've, you've been there for me a lot, and I appreciate you. What's up, 217 Rebel Outdoors? How you doing, brother? It's good to see you. Uh, thank you, Susan. How are you doing, big sis? How are you? It's good to see you. Oh, God. Oh, man. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, I couldn't wait anymore because the country had to leave. He has things he's got to do and people got things to do. I'm sorry, honey. I tried to wait as, as long as I can. Please don't be mad at me. But I need to get it out, too, because, I mean, I've been like this since since my dad grabbed me and hugged me and cried out. My dad doesn't cry very often. <laughs> There's not many times in my life I've seen my dad cry and... uh we went outside and he looked up to the heavens and he kissed up to God and said, thank you. There is a God. And to see my dad as happy as he was makes me even more happy because, you know, your family is what you got. And my parents are devastated with this and my sister and my brother and you guys too. But, you know, as a parent, think about, you know, your kid being sick, you know, they don't want to lose me. So, you know, to see my dad crying really, really got me in the heart, you know. So, but let's stop crying and be happy. And whew, but those were good tears that needed to come out. I just want to thank you for being here with me and just being there with me since the beginning. Most of you have been, and um, Rocco, you too, bro. You, you're, and I mean this, Rocco. I, I can't imagine a day going by and you're not around. I really mean that, and I don't. I don't say that about my friends that I had no one person here. I mean that, bro. You're there every day. You know, I go live. You come on, what's up? Crack a joke. Like, I, you don't know how much that means to me, bro. Like, it might not mean that much to other people, but when, when, whew, my God, I need some coffee. Oh, oh man. No, thank you, Nicole. I appreciate it. Oh, I, I let it out, Laura. It's 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 tears of happiness, man. It really is. It's it's happiness. It's the tears that were in there from being upset and worried for the last two weeks. Like, not only was I worried personally, but my parents were worried. My sister, you guys, like everybody was worried. You know, everybody's like, you know, we want news. We want to hear what's going on. You know, like, and my mom and dad are like, my mom's. I'm telling you, I see a difference. And you know, I'm gonna cry again because my mom's 71 or 70 years old, and I'm seeing changes in her. And I know a big part of it is because of me going sick. Um, 
and it kills me inside because I love my mom to death. She's my mom always stuck by me too. You know, we had a complicated relationship, but I love my mom and just seeing the way she is right now, like she's my dad's not even telling her today. Like you guys are finding out before my mom and before my sister. So I'm actually hoping that my nephew doesn't see this and tells my sister because I want to tell her Friday when she picks me up. But like I told my dad, don't even tell my mom and my brother because I want to tell them when I go there on Friday. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that, sweetheart. Thank you. Uh, I, I know I missed a heck of a lot up in the chat. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Whew. I think Cruncher said something that I wanted to read and I, I lost it. Oh, man. Oh, he said about prayer and you got this. Thank you, Miss Shante. Uh, everybody was saying happy birthday to Carolina. Don't forget, say happy birthday to Carolina Scratcher. She's a sweetheart. Go check her out tonight. <laughs> Rocco said he's going fishing with Bill Dance today. That one always puts a smile on my face, Rocco. I'm so happy for you. It's, uh, it's okay to cry, Terry. It's okay to cry. I've learned that in this last six months, it's okay to cry. It really is. Lots of hugs from North Carolina. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you, brother. Oh, yeah, I know. There are tears of joy. I, 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 I know. I thank you so much, really. I, I really do. You have no idea how much it means to me that you guys are here and going along this journey with me because it's, you know, I said this morning I'm not going to talk about my health out here. I don't care if these trolls are listening. They can go fuck off somewhere. I really don't care. I am going to share my journey with you guys, whether people like it or not. I really don't care. <laughs> You know, like I said, a lot of you is on here. I just met, you know, in the last six months, eight months. Some of you I've known for 10 years, like Blasty and and Country. You know, I've known them guys for like 10 years, man. You know, I can't wait for the day that I can actually, you know, and I get cleared from all this and go in remission and I can hop on a plane and go head down to North Carolina and hang out with Plasty, hang out with Country, you know, and just meet you guys in person. You know, it's, 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 people do it a lot on here. I mean, they do, you know, they do meetups and stuff like that, but I really want to do it, man. <clears throat> I'd love to meet Terry and Mary and Rocco and Steven Scratcher, hang out. Text guy, bring his friggin' eight foot giraffe neck and come hang out with us from Texas. It'd be fun, man. You know, a lot of us know each other just in passing. You know what I mean? We, like, I said this so many times on YouTube, like, how many times all we do is say hey to each other every day? Every day. Sometimes three streams back to back. All we do is say hi to each other, right? But in my group that I have here, we all it's it's more than just hey, you know. We we talk about everything. And do you think your dad can keep that wonderful news in? I I yeah, he he's good with that stuff. Yeah, Terry. He's pretty good with it. Last night was an embarrassment. We lost six nothing, couldn't even score a single run. Why well, didn't even I didn't even see it, Steven? I was actually in bed like six thirty yesterday. I, I was I was I did not feel well yesterday. I felt like crap, crap. Really, I did. I was in bed under the blankets, just watching YouTube. And fell asleep early. <laughs> oh, I can't wait with that day, Scratch Hack man. It's gonna be awesome, bro. Just come down, do some fishing. You know, stay down for a weekend or something, or for the week. I've been talking about it for years, man. I really, I have been. I, I, I would love for it to happen, and one day it will. It will. I may be coming to Connecticut in July. Okay. Well, that's like a halfway point pretty much. I mean, Connecticut is a uh, – I don't even know how long that would take me to get there. Probably three hours maybe, four hours, something like that. Somewhere around there. I'd have to look that up. Um, hey, Miss Marilyn. I didn't even see you sneak in. How you doing, sweetheart? But, uh, yeah, I, I hope he can, Terry. Um, the whole thing is I have to try to I, – I don't even want to say anything to my nephew because he's probably at work or in school. But if he sees this, I don't want him to tattle to my sister because I know he will just to be happy, you know, like because he's happy. But I want to tell my sister because she's going to lose her shit when I talk to her. Because she saw me the other day and she saw how much weight I, I like put on in the last month and a half. And she started crying like immediately. Like when she finds this out, she's going to be frigging, she's going to lose her shit. But still at work. How are you? I'm good, Miss Marilyn. I, I just came on. I wanted, I gave everybody some good news. Um, I got good news. My test results came back, and um, I, I still have cancer. 
but uh, my, my body's responding well from the uh, immunotherapy and the pills, and some of my tumors are shrinking uh, in a good rate. So that's the first really good news I've gotten so far. So like I said, I still have I still have a long ways away. I'm not you know we're not out of the woods here, but it's good that we're responding well. Like I was I was uh, thinking for good results, but preparing for the worst. You know, somebody told me that the other day. I don't know who it was, but I really wish Billy was here too. And, but I think they were getting ready to go shrimping. He said. Let me see. I really thought I did text him, but I, I didn't. It's my fault. Um. <clears throat> okay, where are we? Uh, people that left, that's fine. I understand. You know, if you guys got to go, I do. Country, if you left, I love you, brother. I do. Thank you always for um, saying a prayer for me and prayers work, brother. They really do. And I'll tell you, it's crazy because I very, very rarely, I've said this in my life yesterday, I very rarely pray at night and in the morning. But the past two mornings, for some reason, I felt like I felt really deeply in my soul that I needed to talk to the Lord these past two mornings. And I just, you know, I just prayed and, you know, I asked him the past two mornings, I don't like to talk about what I pray, but I, I have my prayer list that I say at night. And then in the morning, it's usually just me and, you know, I thank the Lord for everything he does. And I just said to him, I said, please, God, you know, um, please um, just look over me. You know, I said, I, I just feel something weird. You know, I didn't know what it was. You know, I said, just please just look over me. I don't really not sure what's going on, but I feel something weird like in my body and in my like in my aura. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain that one, but. Little did I know that it was going to be good news from my uh, from my doctor, and it wasn't even my oncologist. So I have to be quiet about it because my oncologist is going to give me the news on Friday. So she's like, "Please don't say nothing to him because he'll get mad at me," you know, for 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 you know, peeking in and telling you some good news. Because, like I said, palliative is is like it's pain and palliative. So the palliative part is, if you know what that means, it's like the I call it like the psych psychiatric part of the treatment, you know. So she like controls my meds and my emotional part of, you know, the sickness. So we talk about things and, you know, like I said, I, you know, I tell her how I'm feeling the whole month and, you know, did I have a rough week? Did I not, you know, so it's not just about, you know, oh, are the pain meds working or not? No, it's, it's more than that. You know, it's the palliative part is, is the most important part for me because I can open up to her and tell her anything. Hey, pretty witty. How are you? <sighs> Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. I would be spilling my guts out to my hubs if my kid had a miracle like yours. <laughs> and you know what? I, if my dad does, so be it. That's fine. But I just really wish I can. Um, I just want to be able to tell them myself. And uh, good afternoon, Billy. Uh, sorry, I thought I texted you and I did it. And I really, really, I really hope you're not mad at me. But it's okay because I can tell you exactly. Um, as you can tell by the title, if you looked, um, I went to my pain management today. I told you this morning I was going. And I told her a quick story about my fish being hung up how and she saw how happy i was and she goes could i could i tell you your results did you get your results yet from your test i said no i said uh, dr blah 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 is going to tell me on friday when i go for my treatment and um she's like well i just want to let you know that i peaked you know and i want to let you know and i'm like well only tell me if it's good news and i looked over at her billy and she was like this she goes it is and my my heart dropped to my friggin feet and I just, I lost it, man. And I'm like, what, what my, tell me what's going on. She said that uh, my, the tumors are there, but they, um, I'm responding well to the treatment. The tumors have shrunk a tremendous amount. They're still there. They're all still there. Not one of them is gone completely, but they have shrunk a lot, um, which is very, very good news. And, and that's, that's it really. Uh, I just, um, I had a million emotions going through me, Billy, and I'm sorry I didn't hit the, uh, the text. I didn't text anybody else. The only one I text was Mary, and because uh, I wanted to see how she was doing with her basement, and then I told her I was going live. But hey, hey, Candace, how are you? I love you too. Thank you for always being there for me too, Candace. I appreciate it. Thank you, pretty witty. Thanks for putting every the emojis in there. That's good. You need some news, yeah, man. Thanks, brother. 
You but you know, I've been telling you know, talking to a lot of people. Hold on, let me see, Stephen. And I say it again, you're going to beat this with God by your side and Jesus by your side. All things are possible. I know. Thank you, Stephen. Um, but thanks, Billy. Um, you're a big part of it too, brother. I just met you not too long ago, but you're uh you're a big part of my life, brother, and I appreciate you. I want you to know that, man. I really do. And thanks for always hanging around and being there for me. And um, I wanted you to be here too to be part of um, some some goodness, you know, some good news in my life. I just got to work and saw what you said on your title. I'm here, my friend. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know whether you want to explain it again. I could explain it, Wolf, man. You're there for me too, brother. Um, I went to my – real quick, very short um, – I'm responding well from the treatments. Um, some of my tumors have shrunk down, Wolf. Um, my pain and palliative lady um, gave me some some of the news. She peeked in on my charts. I wasn't supposed to find out till Friday, but um, she cheated and told me a little bit and uh, made my day. Um, I, some of, They're all still there. All the tumors are still there, but uh, they're shrinking um, at a very good rate. So that's a good thing. I'm responding very, very well from the treatments. So we're going to continue treatment. I go Friday for another one. And we're going to continue to take the medicines um, as I've been. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm glad I did. Because um, I know a lot of you guys, you know, that have been hanging around me, ladies, men, everybody, have been there with me from day one. You know, I've been hanging in there and uh, riding this journey with me. And I'm internally, internally grateful. I, I want you to know that. I might not say it enough, but I am grateful for everyone that's been riding with me through this because it's not easy. It's uh, definitely not easy. Like I said, screw the freaking trolls that are watching and want to talk shit. I don't care. Let them talk. They have nothing else better to do with their lives. Awesome news, brother. Love you, man. Got to get back to work. All right, Plassey, I love you, man. I'll talk to you later, bro. I'll see you tomorrow in your life. But I thank you for being here, man. Thank you, Billy and Kat. Thank you, both of you. Really, thank you for sharing this with me. Um, the big moment. You missed me crying and shit. I don't think you want to go back and rewind that, but <laughs> now we are we're um we are celebrating it and uh it's a big step it is i mean i know the reality that when this is over you know like today and it's i'm going to go back to you know knowing that i have stage four cancer still and that's fine but i at least at least it came back good news and i'm very very happy because you know it could have came back that it spread all over my body and you know what that would have been forget it i would have you thought i lost my shit being happy I would have lost my shit completely. I probably would not have. You probably would not have seen me anymore if I got that bad of news. And I'm sorry to say that. I said it to my dad, and he gets mad. But if I if I would have got some kind of news like that, I, I would probably not be around. I would uh, I would get on an airplane and go somewhere, and you wouldn't see me anymore. I'd be gone. But thank the Lord above that I am here, and I'm still here. So you guys are stuck with me for longer. I hope you're happy. You're stuck with me. You ain't get, ain't get rid of me just yet. I'll tell you that. I'm a hard nut to crack. You ain't get you ain't ready for me yet. I'm telling you. And we thank you for sharing. We'll do this together. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate you, bro. Scratching Wolf. That is very awesome, buddy. Glad to hear this. It's been a bit of a ride. You got this, my friend. Got to have faith. Shit, I'm at work, but I'll ride with you. I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. There she is. What's up, Sienna? I pray for you every single night, Sienna. I know I don't I don't talk to you that often anymore because I don't I don't I know how it is when I went through it in the beginning and I know you're busy with doctors and all that stuff and people, you know, you need your immediate family with you right now and being around you. So I, I don't want you to think that I don't think about you because I think about you every day, Sienna. And I pray for you every night. And I hope you're doing okay, sweetheart. And you're going to get there with some good news, too. I promise you. Uh, I think I speak for everyone when saying we will gladly be stuck with you. Oh, thank you, Scratch and Mama. I appreciate that. I'm happy as a clam that you got awesome news. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah. I mean, listen, like I said, it, for me, it's I'm happy. I know you do. And I think about you, Dr. Scan, Sophia, family. It's busy. I know. I know. And like I said, when, when I was going through this in the beginning, I know how insanely crazy it could be. Um, what is your news? Um, I had my um, I had my nuclear dye test and my CT this past Friday, and uh, that was like my fifth treatment up, you know, um, checkup to see how I'm responding. 
So I went to my pain and palliative today, of all people. My, you know, she controlled my meds. And um, I told her a quick story about my fish that you see that's finally hung up behind me. My landlord hung it up for me on Christmas morning. I mean, Christmas morning, Easter morning. And I told her the story. And she saw how happy I was. And she goes, could I, could I tell you um, I peeked at your chart? Do you mind if I, you know, give you some good news? Oh, no. She goes, do you mind if I tell you about it? And I said, well, as long as, long as it's good news. And I looked over and she had two thumbs up. And I, I just immediately started crying. And um, I'm like, all right, just tell me as long as it's good news. And she says, well, I looked in there and you're responding. Your tumors have shrunk tremendously. Um, so that means I'm responding very well to the, um, I don't get chemo, I get immunotherapy, which is a form of chemo, you know that. But um, she said, your body's um, reacting good to the immunotherapy and the pills. And um, yeah. And so my first question was, you know, are some tumors gone? And she said, no. She said, they're not gone, but they have shrunk, you know, tremendously. And she said, that's, that's a good thing. And I said, you goddamn right. It's a good thing. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sienna. Yeah. Well, you should have listened again, Scratch and Go Crazy. You're always late to the party, bro. So go back and rewind it and listen again. I got I to gotta give you a little bit of flack, bro. I love you too, man. Scratch and Go, you're another one that's been around for a very long time, man. We bust each other's balls, but. You're a good dude. I got some good news today, man. My tumors are shrinking, and um, it's good. I'm reacting. My body's reacting very well to the um, to the treatments. I mean, I got to continue to get treatment, which I'm going Friday for another one. But it's a uh, step in the right direction, bro. That's the news, and I just wanted to break it break it to everyone, you know, together, and uh, my little family here. So, <clears throat> group hugs, everyone. On three, one, two, three, group hug. Nice, Mary. <clears throat> Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the hug, Scotch and Mama. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, G. I'm so happy beyond measure. Oh, thank you, Terry. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm beyond happy. I really am. I'm, I mean, I, I can't even imagine how I'm going to be the day they tell me I'm in remission. And, and you know what? Can I tell you guys this story too? This is this. Let me read Sienna's thing first and then I will. I have a lumpectomy scheduled on the 12th for my right breast, then starting targeting targeted radiation on the 20th. Okay. Okay. Please let me know how it goes. All right, Sienna. Like I said, I don't like to bother you because I know you have a lot going on, you know, between you and Sophia and everything. You got a lot, lot going on. So when you have a moment, you might just, you know, hit me up. Um, you don't have my number, I don't think. Um, send me an email, Sienna. It's still the same one. All right. Send me an email and I'll give you my new number. Okay. Cause I, we got rid of the other phone. So but yeah, everybody, please put in uh, some prayer emojis in the chat for Sienna. She's going through, um, she's going through a rough time too. She's going through some uh, breast cancer. So please give her some love. She's uh she's another friend that goes back a while. And, um, yeah, thank you. Scratch and go. I just saw that bud. I made you a moderator too. say something again in the chat, scratch and go. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Show her some love, please. I can't wait to tell my family and friends who have been praying for you. Love you, little brother. Oh, thank you so much, Susan. Susan, you mean a lot to me, too, sweetheart. You really do. You've been a, you've been a rock to me, too. Thank you so much. You're always just so positive to me and always, always, always call me your little brother. I, I, I can't express it in words right now how much you mean to me, too. So thank you so much. And thank you. Thank your friends and your family for all their prayers. And to keep praying because I, I gotta continue to need them. So keep praying. Yeah, thank you so much for showing love to my friend Sienna. A lot of you guys know her from the community. Um, she used to scratch a lot on here too. Um, she's a great person. She's just going through a lot right now too, and she needs the love, the love that you gave to me, give to her too. All right, please. She's a, she's a sweetheart. She really is. <clears throat> we have all been through a lot together, and. Uh, yeah, she needs she needs uh she needs some prayers. So throw her on your prayer list and uh, give her pray for her too. Oh man, oh you're so welcome. See you anytime. Just please email me if you you still have my email. If not, I'll throw it in the chat. Here, I'll throw it in the chat. Just let me know you got it, and then I'll I'll take it out of the chat. Where's my Mary? There she is. My sugar plum.
Let me know when you got it, um, Sienna, so I can erase it out of there. You probably do have it, but we both have a lot going on, so you might not. Okay, got it. Cool. Yeah, just send me an email, and I'll um, I'll email you back and give you my number. <laughs> Sugar plum. I'm gonna have a couple. These are good. Love you. You have to go for now. Poor Wi-Fi again. So happy and relieved. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate you. I love you, sweetheart. Go um, be safe. Get out of the rain. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I couldn't imagine doing this without you here. So thank you. Yeah, just so it's easier to communicate, Sienna. So you can, you know, I don't want, like I said, I don't want to bother you all the time. So. You know, you're able to text me or whatever, would call me, whatever you want to do. You know, I want, I want, to, I want to know how you're doing. I think about you every day, and I pray for you every single night. And I, when I tell you that, I mean that 150. percent There you go. Thank you, Terry. Be safe. Wow, I got eleven people, thirty-one thumbs up. Holy cow, that is that's probably the most the most thumbs up I've gotten in one live. That's crazy. Thank you guys. I don't want them because they're, they're a prize. I want them to just. I want to be able to. I, I a lot of you know I've been trying to be so consistent, you know, with my content, which is basically sitting here eating sugar plums, hanging out, talking to you guys. But at least this time I'm doing it consistently every day. So. That's funny. Thanks, Billy. You know, as soon as I read that, I was like, I started laughing because you said that this morning. The, t the tape is off. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I can't even eat my freaking sugar plum. That's funny as hell. Yeah, you have to get some, Mary. They're good. They, like I said, they're not being called sugar plums. They, you would think they're like more sweet, but they're not. They're like just kind of, I don't know. They're just a good flavor. All right. Listen, get off the phone and go drive and be safe, Terry. I'll talk to you later, sweetheart. Got your coin on the way, by the way. Just forgot to email you the tracking. That's okay. I told you, you do it when you can. You know, you're going through a lot too, Wolf, and I pray for you every day too. You're on my list. I pray for a lot of you guys. I really do. Crap, I got to plug in. I'm about to. Wow, good thing I noticed that. This thing, my, my laptop would have just shut off in like two minutes from now. It was in the red. I forgot when I got up to get coffee, I didn't plug it back in. Oh, man. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you too, Wolf. And you're here all the time too, man. I appreciate that. I really do. <clears throat> one of the most fun lives I had in the last couple of months, I'll be honest. This is when you, you, I know you're still working in a hotel. You went live from the hotel. This is when I was still living in the other apartment, man. I was down in the dumps, man, arguing with the dude downstairs. And this is the old apartment I'm talking about. He was all drunk and shit. And I just happened to go on YouTube and I, I saw Wolfie live. And he's sitting there at the front desk at a hotel. And I don't even, you weren't even scratching tickets, man. You were just talking. And uh, it was, I don't know how many people were there, but I remember. I remember it all just, you just started, got into a good conversation. It put me in a good mood. And actually, was it inspired me to do these um, these uh, sit down chat lives, to be honest with you. It kind of was like, I was like, I could do that. I could sit here and run my mouth for freaking two hours. Yeah. Yeah, it's the truth, man. I remember that live. Those, it wasn't even like, you weren't even doing anything. You were at work. You're just sitting there bullshitting about something. I, don't, I think at that time, you were talking about like, the uh, you were trying to get a design for your coin or something. If you remember that, I don't know if you do or not. But Terry, you said you were going to drive and not chat anymore. Go be safe, please. Don't make me worry. I have enough to worry about right now. Billy, you going shrimping or no? I know you said you might be. 
I'll tell you what. If it was like how it was over here, I wouldn't go out, man. It's blowing out here, too. I think I remember that one. Didn't semi Ernie pop in? I think so. Yeah. It was a it was a few months back. At least three, maybe four. Because I'll still I've, I've been in here two months, going on my third month here. So and I can't believe that. That flew by. Um hopefully we have a third month. You know, I'm gonna be living under the bridge after April first. I was talking about it with my dad. Disability needs to come through or I'm gonna be homeless. Anywho, <coughs> um, yeah, it was just, like I said, Wolf, it was nothing like extremely like, oh my God, it was a live that I'm never going to forget, but it was just, hey, Kat, that's great news. So glad you're doing well. Always listen. Thanks, Kat. I appreciate that. Much love to you too. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No front wave through and it calmed down, but no shrimping. Oh, okay. All right. How they do the roof? Did they finish your roof? I was thinking about that before. I was talking to my dad about that actually. We were because I needed a good laugh, and on the way there, and I was telling him about how you said you guys were um, eating Mexican food, sleeping on the roof. He started laughing. He's like, "That's what they do." <laughs> right, you get along with my dad very well, I think. Uh, I'm waiting for one of these to be sweet. But they're just not. Roof's done and no leaks. Good job. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, man. Thank you for the eight people on 33 thumbs up. I thank you. Appreciate it very much. And for everybody that's sticking around. So I didn't get a chance to talk about it that much this morning. Um, well, I got, if anybody cares, I got a new toothbrush. My dad had some money on his OTC that he gets from his um, from his insurance company. So he goes, I'm going to stop. He had to pick up some multivitamins for him and my mom. So he, um, he goes, you need anything? And I was like, yeah, I want to get some of uh, my sleeping meds and stuff. I said, but we can get it another day. I said, you know, make sure you have enough on there. So I saw this, and it was under a slot that said a dollar seventy nine. I really don't know if it was in the right slot or not, but it rung up, and you don't pay for it anyway with the OTC. He just, you get it for free. So he said, "Dad, that's all I want, just a toothbrush." But um, what did Wolf say? You see, that's just it. Some people look for entertainment and excitement. That's just not my vibe, though. I'm just laid back, chill, want to talk, I'll talk. Yeah. And in turn, if you need to watch some Scratch, and I can cover that, too. No, that's true. You know, everybody in here, pretty much everybody knows String Bean, pretty much. He, um, I'll never forget it. He said something so nice to me one time, and he's a pretty nice guy. Um. When I, when I first, I think it was like the first, second, maybe third, I don't know, times I went live from down the river fishing, he said, oh, he's like fishing for clamors. He's like, uh, he's like, I really, we really enjoy this. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, just watching you fishing and just, you know, the sitting and chatting. He goes, you know, especially if you're a YouTuber like I am, guys, like you, you're on YouTube all day. I mean, when I worked, I had to work. I wasn't on YouTube. I'm talking about like, you know, in your free time, whatever. I'm, I'm single. I'm by myself. So I spend a lot of time on YouTube, you know. So he goes, you know, a lot of us that are like that, you know, are either in a scratch channels all the time, slot channels, whatever, because they were like the gambling. And he's like, yours, it's, it's different, you know. You could just come in, whether you do a panel or you don't, you could just come in and talk and be natural, you know, just be yourself. Instead of just going in and saying, hey, like I was saying before, you go into uh, you know, a couple of these scratch channels that have 300 people. It's, hey, and then next thing you know, you see them in the next one. It's, hey, they just say hi to each other all day long. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of crazy what we do. He said, yours. He's like, you get to just relax, you know, and come in and be yourself and talk. And it's more than just a hello. You know, and I was like, that, that touched me, you know. It, it made me feel like, okay, doing this is, uh, is worth it, you know. I enjoy it anyway. I know there's a few years that do. A 
was a really good cup of joe too oh and you know what i forgot to do terry if you're still listening you know what day it is right hump day i totally forgot i got off the live this morning five minutes after i got off the live i checked my emails and no my uh, messenger i heard it go off it was rocco and he's like you know what day it is right <laughs> i'm like damn i totally forgot But my mind's been all over the place, you know. Like I said, not not getting my results back. My my mind has not been is the clearest my mind's been, honestly, since two weeks ago. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so glad I got good news and got to share it with you guys. But I'm going to tell you what it's it's I'm going to sleep good tonight because I've been so worried that I was going to get really really bad news. Let's f and go, Gerald. What's up, Prophet Hunter? Heck, me too. If you're going to YouTube to make money, it's not really there. You might make it a little, but a little bit sure. But if you utilize your YouTube right, you can make some really good friends. And I have, yeah, exactly. I'm not in it for the money, bro. I never was. Well, that just, I, that's not true. There was a time that I tried. My first original channel that I had, I was just about to be monetized and I had it out with somebody else, another another creator. And um, I, I wound up deleting that channel. And I regret it to this day because I probably could have three, 4,000 subscribers by now. But it is what it is. I started over, and here we go now. So, Yeah, Prophet Hunter, I don't know if you were in the bushes listening, but uh, I made this because I had some good news today about my cancer. Um, my oncologist was going to tell me Friday, but my pain and palliative lady told me today. She peeked in at my, uh, my results, and uh, my body's responding well. Some of my tumors are... Um, my tumors are shrinking and I'm responding very well from the immunotherapy treatments. So, yeah, so it's pretty good news. And I want to share it with everybody. And, uh, I did and you're late, but that's okay. I'm just messing with you. Can't put a price on good friendship. That's the truth, Mary. 100%. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, I needed some good news, man. Cause it's been, Five months of uh, really rough times, man. You know, not just the cancer, just that, and you know, having to get out of my place where I was living and getting this place. And, you know, I'm still, I'm still struggling with that. You know, I'm really gonna have a rough time getting my rent together for this month coming up. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. So now I have good news, but the bad news is still there. That I, that I'm, you know. So now I don't have to stress about my health. Now I need to stress and really concentrate on uh, figuring out how I'm gonna come up with this money for my rent next month. This disability is just giving me a hard time, man. It's just taking forever. I don't get it. <sighs> yeah, man. When you get news like that, your world flips upside down. It's goddamn right it does. And you know what? Any good news is phenomenal, dude. If you were here 20 minutes ago, half hour ago, dude, I was crying my fucking eyes out. Tears of joy. You know, just any good news is, is good, great news when you have any kind of disease. So any kind of progress is life-changing, you know? Yeah, it's the truth, man. I couldn't put it any better in an instant. It's, just, it's that's the same thing with me. I, I was saying about, I was talking about it this morning. I have never wanted people have lung cancer that never smoked a cigarette in their life. Explain that. I never had a problem. My kidneys never had a problem peeing. Nothing in my whole entire life. Even up until I got diagnosed with kidney cancer, I never had an issue with my kidneys. I still don't until today, till today, except that I have tumors growing on them. Other than that, I don't have any kidney failure. I've never had kidney stones in my life. None, none of that. Just You just don't know. You just don't know, guys. And like you said, in an instant, it can happen to anybody. You know, it can be the best of health. And then one day, boom. So when you get news like this, after being through so much and treatments and being pricked and prodded with needles and when I had those friggin' 12 inch needles go into my side into my rib cage as painful as that was I, I I got through it because I knew it was good for me you know to get the the, the autopsy you know like dude five months I went through a lot of shit a lot and I'm gonna go through a lot more but you know what getting some good news goes a long way it really it's it's a it's a morale booster like, I, I feel great right now because I'm just happy that I got some good news, you know. Don't take life for granted. You can't, man. You can't take life for granted, man. 
And you know what? Most people do. Most people do. And I was one of them, really. I mean, I don't know if I should, I could say that. I took it for granted. But you don't realize. I said this a thousand times when I first got diagnosed. You do not realize how important one second of your life is until you find out that it could be taken away from you that fast. Like that. Listen, I have great news right now. And it's just, this is the sad reality, and I won't. I don't like talking like this way in front of my parents because they they don't like to hear it. But the sad reality is, three months from now, this can turn around in three sixty and be the worst fucking thing ever, and I could die. It's just that's just the truth, you know. I hate thinking about that, but you know what? I do because I think it's just natural, you know. Like even this, you know, the getting this news today was great, but I went into it thinking, thinking the best. But planning for the worst because you just you don't know, you know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly, Mary. So that's why I try to just be happy every day. I wake up and I thank the Lord for opening my eyes and giving me another chance, giving me another day to try to beat this nonsense and get my life back. You know, I, I really mean that when I say that, man. Like you don't realize how important a minute of your day is until it could be taken away. So be grateful that you're alive because there's always someone worse off. And I'm telling you, there's people, millions of people that are worse off than me. I'm sitting here on YouTube, hanging out with you guys, eating sugar plums. There's people that are a million times worse off than I am right now. And I know that. And I, and I don't take that for granted either. You know, <clears throat> When life's good, it's good, but it can change as it did with me, not seeing my kids in over a year. Mine is inflicted by a human. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, bro. I do. And you, you've told me, you know, not in great detail, but you've told me in the past, um, you know, some of the things you've been through too. And it's that's I, I don't know how that feels like though, because I don't have children, you know. So I don't know how that feels, but it's the same thing of you know of, of my dad grabbing me when I told him the news earlier, and he just grabbed me. And I don't see my dad cry very often in my life, and he had tears in his eyes and grabbed me and hugged me really tight, you know, and said, "I love you, son." Like that, you know what I mean? That is, I know that's what you mean, you know. But the pain you you know you felt not seeing your kids, I I can't imagine what that feels like, you know. I hope I never have to, you know, and I hope you never have to go through that again either, to be honest. So I know that wasn't the. Uh, you know, you're a good dude, man. You know, everybody sees you having fun, laughing. Let's fucking go. But listen, bro, you're still a dad, you know, and you got kids and, you know, you love your kids. So <clears throat> there you go, Mary. Make lemonade. Uh, just take care of strawberry, grapes, blueberries yourself and listen to your doctors. Exactly, man. That's all I do. That's the, and that's what my my uh, pain and palliative lady. She's like, she's like, you talk all the time about you know you just listen to your doctor. She's like, and I appreciate that about you. You know, some people want to fight the system. I'm like, I don't. I I don't want cancer. I want to be cancer free. So I listen to everything my doctor tells me. I told her that I was going to be short this month on my meds. I said, should I tell her? Should I not tell her? Is she going to think the wrong thing? Is she going to read the right thing? But you know what? I was in a lot of pain this month, and I overtook my meds. I did, and. She changed my script, and it should be there Friday, so I don't have to go without medicine. And she goes, "No, thank you for being honest." I said, "Listen, man, I don't even—I don't want to even take a Tylenol if I don't have to." You know what I mean? So I'm willing to do whatever my doctors tell me to do. I listen to them down to a science, and uh, I forgot to put in the medicine. What do you mean? I forgot to put in the pill. Let's make lemonade with the new legacy ticket. I don't think I've seen it yet. What does it look like, FPH? I don't think I've seen it. Oh, oh, in your emojis. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, Billy. Yeah, man. I do, I do what they tell me to do, man. It's God's honest truth. They, and, and that's why I didn't want to lie to her, you know. I, I didn't want to 
like beat around a bush. I just told her straight up, you know, because she's like, oh, I, I know you told me last month that, you know, you were doubling up on your on your 15 oxys. And I said, well, I did this month too. I said, and even more than the month before. I said, I told you, I, you know, I think I need to increase it. I said, because my pain level is, seems to be getting worse. And uh, she's like, okay. She's like, you know, let's try, I'll move you up to the 20s. And let's see, let's do that for a month or two and see how, how that works for you. <clears throat> I said, okay. And uh, she said that it should be there Friday. I went down to the to the um, pharmacy because it's right in the cancer center. And um, I talked to the girl. She's like, oh, I have to. The pharmacist was actually um, on lunch. She's like, oh, I'll tell her. She'll call upstairs, whatever, confirm it. It should be there by Friday when you come for your treatments. I said, okay. Because I barely have enough to get to that point. So, uh, Like Black Beauty, Old Gold Rush. Oh, But it's not a gold rush ticket. It's a. What's it called? Legacy? I don't know if I've seen it. My buddy R. Kelly, he was uh, he's in St. Augustine now. He was on vacation and he did some tickets last night, but he did the big blue $50 ticket and the new orange $50 ticket. And the legacy, what is it? What a uh, denomination? 20, 30? What is it? He said, the one you chased with me? Me? I don't chase no tickets. What you what you talking about? FPH, I have another book I'm doing. Just trying to figure out the day and location. I'm scratching them. Okay. What do you mean the one that I chased? I when when did I chase tickets with you, bro? Months ago? I I haven't played a ticket on your channel in fucking five months, probably. Oh, twenty dollar comes out Monday. Wink. Oh, okay. I was like, huh. I can't. I can't spend a dollar on lottery, man. I have to get started on dinner. I'm so happy for you, and I pray this is the beginning of something amazing. Remission is around the corner. Take care and have an amazing day. Stay blessed. Thank you, Pretty Witty. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner, and thanks for coming in and uh, sharing it with me. I do appreciate that a lot. <clears throat> oh, like a year ago. Okay. I was going to say, like, I don't want people sitting there thinking that I'm sitting here crying. I can't pay my rent and I'm sitting here scratching tickets with you because I did have not. <laughs> I haven't even scratched a personal ticket. I did two bingos like two weeks ago and lost. Like a year ago, knew me, straight chased before I went to work live. Oh, okay. Yeah, a year ago, that's fine. Like I said, I don't want people sitting here thinking, you know, I'm saying this, saying that. And you know, you're saying here that I'm scratching tickets. No, 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 no. We lost Sunday, chased Monday morning. Oh, okay. I don't remember, dude. I don't remember freaking what I ate for lunch an hour ago. Half the time. These medicines mess with me. Pretty witty, those kids thinking they need fed again. Oh, that's funny. I don't know why this, this light is crazy, man. On this camera lens. On light. Sorry. Make you all dizzy. But it's not the lens. It's I think it's the light. I say it every day. It just looks like it's uh it looks blurry, but it's not. Twenty dollar gold rush legacy FPH suggesting group book. Yeah, but you said that it's something about a new ticket. Let me go back up, man. You got me all confused now. Let's make lemonade with the new legacy tickets. You said new legacy ticket, but you said it's a ticket we chased a year ago. So what, they came out with a new version? Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry if I, if I lost what you were saying, dude. I've been suggesting group book, but nobody will listen to me. <laughs> Wolf, if this was a year ago and I was working and everything was, trust me, I'd, I'd get two spots in your game. But every dollar I have goes to my rent and goes to putting food in my refrigerator, man, so I can stay healthy. I wish I was able to play, bro. I do. I really, I enjoy it, but I just can't. Uh, oh, man, my back hurts so bad. Whew. My back is screaming. And I just, believe it or not, my dad gave me, uh, gave me a pill that he had a 20 or 20 milligram. And my back is uh, screaming right now. It hurts so bad. I haven't scratched in months either. For now, everything going to pay med bills and medicine till Medicaid takes over. Yeah. Yep. 
I hear you, Sienna. It, it's just, it becomes, it's not even important. You know what I mean? Before I would break my own rules and be like, ah, I'm working, but I can spend, you know, 40, 50 bucks, whatever. If I'm broke, that's on me. I get paid Friday. I don't have income, you know, and I'm scared. You know, and not only that, like you, when you get when you get sick, you have so much other shit on your mind. You don't even think about it. You really don't. It's like I quit cigarettes the day I found out I had cancer. I don't even think about it. Same thing with lottery. Same thing with any kind of vice like that. You give it up when you get sick. You don't even think about it, man. There's, I swear to God, I get enough enjoyment watching you all scratch them online. Don't get me wrong. You know, do I still get the itch to want to play? Sure. It is, it, what, it, I don't care, you know. Left for a bit. What did I miss? You know, I needed my coffee refill and a bagel to get me right. <laughs> Nothing. We're just sitting here bullshitting. FPH is talking about some tickets that he's going to be playing. And Scratching Wolf is trying to get a uh, book going. We're just yip yapping, Rocco. Welcome back, buddy. You're really, thanks for being here, Rocco. I appreciate you, man. <clears throat> oh, my back hurts so bad. Ooh. God, I answered above. Huh. Yes, new. Oh, okay, my bad. Yes, new gold rush legacy twenty dollar comes out Monday. Wink, wink. I don't know what you're winking about. I ain't got no money, so that's what you're saying. I ain't got no money, so you could stop your little winks. I ain't got no money to get any. I wish I did. Keep sending to me. What does this dude want? <laughs> so he, he gets rid of it and puts I answered above and there's no more winks. Where'd the winks go? Oh, no, there it is. Wink, wink. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You keep saying wink, wink. If you know, you know. I, I really don't. Is it like you buying me some? That would be cool. I'm really not sure what you're saying, bro. Who put this? What? White Fang, including me. This is on YouTube. $5 multi state battle. What the hell? What is this? 13 people in description. Fishing for clamors first. Why? Why am I on that list? No. Uh -oh. White Fang, if you watch this replay, I, I can't do a multi-state battle. I wish I could, but thank you for trying to include me. I do appreciate that, but no, I can't. There you go, FPH, all gone. Huh. And he said, now I'm confused. Like, what did you write, Sienna? I didn't, I didn't even see what you erased. Early, re early release to me, not subtle now. Thanks, Sienna. Oh, okay. I got you too. I got you. Got you. All right. All right. All right. Now my feet are too hot. I can't make up my mind. Do you have that problem, Sienna? Being sick, dude. Do you do you get like the hot and cold, like where like on a dime, like you're hot, and then the next like freaking three minutes later you're freaking cold. So then you put a sweatshirt on, and then all of a sudden you're hot again. Like I don't get it. This has been happening for months. Like, it just drives me crazy. I told my doctor, and she's like, oh, it could be from the medicine. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's all the answers. That's all the answers that all the doctors say. It's probably from the medicine. Or like my, my landlord says, well, you're sick. That's our little joke we have. The other day, I said, oh, you have no idea how much. I said, you know, that fish went everywhere with me. You know, it's like my baby. He goes, that's kind of sad. I said, well, it is sad. I'm sick. He goes, you're right. You're sick. It's like our little joke, you know. He started laughing. He goes, that's pretty sad. I said, my life is sad. My electric and gas bills are insane from the hot and cold. I, I, I bet. It's crazy, man. I'm, I'll lay in bed. I'm freezing under the blankets. And then I'm like, I need to open the window because I'm hot now. Like I'm sweating. So I'll, I'll get up. I'll get out from under being comfortable. I'll get up. I'll open the window. And then it's 40 degrees out. So then all of a sudden, 
half hour later, I'm freezing. I'm like, I can't make up my mind. That's, I was never like that. I was I was one of those guys that'd be out in the freaking middle of the winter with a hoodie on and a pair of shorts going to the supermarket. Now I go out, I have to wear a heavy sweatshirt. I'm freezing everywhere I go. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. That's our life now. It is what it is. Oh, man. But I, I have this, like, like before I was able to come on here, you know, I had this, like, pit in my stomach. Now it's gone. And I feel, like, so relieved that I was able to, like, let you guys know the news. And I'm so happy you guys know now. And we're going to move forward. And next one is Sienna to get some freaking awesome news by the end of the month, I'm hoping. That hot cold thing is hard. Yeah, it is, Billy. It sucks, dude. It really does. Cause it's just like your body can't make up its mind, you know? And that's that one thing when I was, that's how it is when I'm, when I passed out in the freaking supermarket, I wound up in a hospital for five days. And then last week when that happened to me again, that hot cold thing, man, it's scary shit. That first time it happened, I passed right out right by that lottery machine, wound up in a hospital for friggin' five days, man. Yeah. It's been upper sixties, lower seventies here, but it's cold to me. So I wear energy. Yeah, exactly. I remember my dad saying, oh, it's so nice out. You know, you have your treatment today. I'm going to pick you up. You don't even need a jacket, he says. I'm like, I'm wearing my sweatshirt. I don't care if it's 65 degrees. I'm still going to be cold. I already know it. So that's one thing I have noticed. But I think that's the all the medicine, to be honest. That I'll blame on the medicine. Brings your, uh, your blood pressure and stuff down and uh, thins out your blood and stuff. So that I can understand. It just sucks, though. Sweat under covers. Get up to piss. Then I'm freezing. Yeah, man. I mean, this what I this what I'm going through. Like every once in a while, FPH. Like I said, when I wound up in a hospital, when I passed out, it happened again in the supermarket last week. I was able to talk myself out of it. Like I'm telling you, bro, I was sweating so bad. I went through a whole roll of paper towels, and then the door started opening. Like people were going in and out of the supermarket, and that cool air was hitting me. Even though it was like 55 degrees out, I was sweating so much. That cool air hit me. Then I started getting freezing cold, dude. I was shaking, like shivering, dude. And then I started feeling weird, like I was going to black out again. And I just, I don't know, I got myself warm. I was able to stand up on my own, got warm by the window because the sun was shining in, got away from the door. And because I learned that from the last time, that's what really messed me up the last time. So I got away from the door. So I wasn't cold anymore. And I got warm. And then I my that like foggy in my, like in my eyes. I don't know. I don't know if that ever happened to you guys. When you look out and your eyes feel like they're like, uh, like foggy, if you will. That's that feeling. Billy, think, I think he understands. Um, that kind of went away as I started warming up. And I kept wiping sweat, blow, wait, wiping sweat off. And then finally I got up and my friend came over and she's like, um, do you think, are you okay to go? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I got up and believe it or not, five minutes later, done, gone. Never even knew what happened. Scary. It's not the medicine. It's being sick that makes you hot and cold, i.e. infections. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we were trying to figure it out. Like even even the doctors in the when I went in that time, they couldn't figure out what it was. And I didn't have infections either. I don't know. I don't. What is IE infections? What does that mean, Billy? Because they 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 ran all these tests on my heart. They all the EKGs and everything and <clears throat> fuzzy. Oh, so you know what I mean, FPH? At least three times a week. Wow, fuzzy. Yes, and floaters too. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. So you know exactly what I mean. Wow. But I, I'm trying to see what he no, because he wrote um hot and cold IE infections. I don't know what the IE means. IE means example. In example. Oh, okay. So, oh, there you go. Okay. So it's not the medicine. It's being sick that makes you hot and cold. An example, infections. Oh, so could, like you're not saying it's an infection. You're just, that's an example. It could have been an infection, you're saying. So it's just being sick, period. Okay. I got you. Yeah, I know what you mean now. I got you, brother. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little slow today. <laughs> sorry, man. <clears throat> time is it 418 all right we'll stay on for about another half hour and then we'll jump off of here and i want to start making a soup 
I'm making two pots of soup, FPH. I'm making a uh, split pea because I have a ham. I got a free ham shank. I broke it down the other day. I gave some to my dad, like for sandwiches. And then the rest I broke up for a little bit of sandwiches for me. I'm going to freeze a couple eggs. And then I'm uh, the rest I got the bone for pea soup. And then I'm making a – today I'm going to make um, ham and potato. <laughs> ham and potato soup. I'm going to get that one on today. Nice cream of potato with some ham in it. It's going to be really good. I'm going to get that on. It's only going to take probably like an hour and a half, two hours to cook. And then I'll just leave it out overnight. Let it cool off. I am underground. I'm like in a bunker. I'm in a I'm in a basement apartment, so it's nice. Stays nice and cool down here. And I usually keep the uh, bedroom window open anyway, so it's gonna like blow right into the kitchen. It'll make the pot cool down. I'm making fried taters and onions mixed with ground beef, cucumber. Ooh, that sounds good, dude. Wow. I don't have any chopped meat, but that sounds good. <clears throat> that sounds real good. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, I can't wait to um make the soup and it should only take about an hour and a half, two hours. I mean, I like to cook a soup like three, four hours, but that's going to be my dinner today. So I really, um, I don't want to eat too late. You haven't made that damn soup yet. Oh my God. <laughs> now nah, the past couple of days, I haven't felt that good cut. And plus I had to, I went yesterday just to get the ingredients. Um, I went to the farmer's market with pops. So I picked up the celery, onions, carrots, and then I had to pick up on the, on today. Cause I forgot yesterday I had to pick up, um, Heavy cream was like five dollars for a quart, so I didn't get it. I just got a light cream, believe it or not. That'll work. And then I'm going to mash up some of the potatoes and use the starch as a thickener. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to make the potato one today. Yeah, I didn't have all the ingredients, Pat. I'm sorry. Then I put vinegar on it. Oh man, nice man. I then put that uh, fried taters and onions mixed with the ground beef. That sounds good, dude. I can go for something like that. That's like a Stick to your rib kind of dinner, you know. I, I kind of like that. I like meals like that. <clears throat> yes, or you could use instant mashed potatoes if you have them as a thickener. Yeah, I don't like them. Though. I don't like the taste that it gives. So I've, I've, I'm a chef, you know that. I, I've, no, I'll do that if I'm selling it at work. That's different. But use cream cheese and milk as heavy cream. Yeah, you could do that too. But I don't have cream cheese. No, I spent it was three twenty nine for the quart. Um, 329 three yeah 329 for the quart of um light cream that's going to be enough plus i'm going to take some of the potatoes and mash them up good and uh the starch will help it out too <clears throat> yeah that's true too i, I didn't even think of that ph to be honest but i didn't really want to buy cream cheese and milk like i have a gallon of milk but that lasts me like i'll go through a gallon of milk in like three days for just myself cereal and i'll just drink I just I drink a lot of milk. It's good for me. So I drink it. And chocolate milk. I go through probably two gallons of milk a week and a gallon of chocolate milk a week. It's actually good for it's good vitamins. So I, that's why I drink it. Plus my my uh, protein drinks too. So But yeah, I didn't want to get the heavy cream. It was way too expensive. So I got the light cream. It is what it is. I might not even use the whole thing. I probably just use half and use the rest. It stays pretty good in the fridge for like a week. So I'll, I'll use that for coffee. I had that in my coffee just before. It was really good. But yeah, it'll come out good. Let me get this. I had to get. I had to buy paper plates. I had no fucking paper plates. Man, I was pissed. Actually, I had a good deal on them too. But they're not solo. I think it's solo. Eight and a half inch paper plate. And I and what I do is I'll like I just had a sandwich on it before. All it has is crumbs. So I wipe the crumbs off into the garbage and it's clean. And you could even has a little coating on it. You could actually like rinse it under the sink. People think I'm crazy, but you know what? It's just too expensive, man. If it ain't dirty, why throw it in the garbage? Just like the like these, these solo cups. Why would you take these and throw them in the garbage after you're done? Rinse them out. I wash them out, I put them in the drain, and they're fucking good. You know, sometimes, you know, like freaking have a glass of chocolate milk and I fall asleep and in the morning it's all crusty and shit. I put hot water in it and soap. I wash it. <laughs> Got to be frugal. Good for mac and cheese. Yeah, I bet. I'm making ground chuck with onions, adding pork and beans and ketchup in the skillet, then put some cheese on it to melt. Oh, that sounds cool. You guys are killing me, man. That sounds really good. 
I ate your lasagna. I'll make you fresh if you make it over my way. Okay. Sounds good, Mary. Don't, th don't think I forgot about that lasagna now because I didn't. But I'm glad you ate it. That sucker looked good. I'm, I'm dying for a good old hunk of lasagna one of these days, man. Nice big fat square, man, where you just eat that and you fall asleep like 20 minutes later. Yeah. Mm, I only use paper towels to clean napkins and dish towels. Huh? I only use paper towels to clean to clean napkins and dish towels. Yeah, I have a bunch of um yeah, I have a bunch of towel. Like my sister bought me a couple of sets, you know, like with the gloves and everything, like you know, the oven mitts and shit. She gave me and then she bought me a couple other towels, you know, to use in the kitchen. But paper towels are not that expensive. I mean, I buy the cheaper ones. And uh, I don't like to use a lot of that either, to be honest. I have regular plates, but they're uh, it's a nice set. Actually, my landlord left them downstairs for me. He goes, they were the my one buddies. He's like, if you want to keep them, you can have them. I'm like, yeah, okay, let me see. They were they're nice. It's like four coffee cups, four plates, uh, four bowls. Yeah, a nice little set. Now, you know, if I if I'm gonna sit in the if I'm gonna sit at the booth in the kitchen and eat dinner, I'll use a regular plate and then I'll wash it. But if I'm gonna come sit in here in the living room and you know what, I'll just use a paper plate, man. A hundred napkins, a dollar. Yeah. I get all my paper towels from the gas station. I pay enough for gas handfuls. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not like I just bought two rolls of uh, TP. I forget the name. It's like that new company. I don't even know the name of it. It's like, uh, I don't know, eco-friendly, green and like tannish on the paper. Like a dollar nine a roll. Let's just grab three or four. I mean, that's it's simple. But yeah, yeah, Dollar General's got good deals. You know what? A good deal too was uh, where the heck was I just before? Um, Walgreens. It was one, two, three, four, four jumbo rolls of paper towels. But it was a name brand too. I can't say Bounty, maybe. Four rolls equivalent to like seven rolls because you know the you know how they make them now. I don't know. That's what they say. I know. I know when I have four rolls, it's four rolls. It's not seven. So. I don't know why they say that, but they run out after four. <laughs> Anywho, um, it was four rolls for five bucks, which is pretty cheap. And then it was two packs of those for seven fifty. So it was like three seventy five, basically for four rolls. Yeah, look like a dollar a roll, which was pretty damn cheap. I was gonna get them, but I was like, eh, I feel like carrying any more shit. I told my dad we got to go back there anyway next week, so I'll grab them if they're still on sale. What Billy say? Oh, I get all my paper towels from the gas station. Yeah. When you get gas and you see the little paper towel dispenser, just lift the lid up all you want. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it was cheap too. That's what I thought, man. I saw that. I was like, damn, I should have I should have grabbed them, but like I said, I was really, really tight on cash. I really needed to get the other stuff at the supermarket. And I still have paper towels anyway, so I really didn't need to get them until next week. So I might stop on Friday after my treatment with my sister. I don't know yet. Maybe. But I know we're going to go back to my mom's house, so we probably won't go shopping. I'll probably just go next week. I have enough food until next week. <clears throat> 430. All right. Like I'm getting that hot and cold thing now. Like Not like, like severe, but I'm just saying like actually just cold and hot. I'm getting really hot now. Just sitting here and it's warm down here, and then I'll get cold. <coughs> I can't wait till this weekend, man. WrestleMania Friday night. There is a Friday night SmackDown Friday, plus we got the Hall of Fame induction, and then Saturday and Sunday, WrestleMania. I can't wait. I make a lot of cheat meals, you do, and that's good though, man. You know, because you got to cook for what? How many are you there? One, two, three, four, four, five or six, right? Five or six years. You, Huntress, and the kids. Like five or six years, I think. Friday Night Legacy. Uh, okay. Three. Oh, okay. Three right now? Gotcha. But still, you know, you can stretch meals out. 
Like that's why I got to free him from from ShopRite. You know, people say it's free, but you spent the money all year to get it. But you know what? I can get a lot of meals out of it, even if it's like over the course of God knows how long after I break it all down down and put them into little Ziplocs and freeze them. It could be 10 sandwiches or whatever, like two more pots of soup. Just take advantage of the free shit you can get too. Not my kids. Okay. We're lucky shrimp and fish to eat free saves a lot. Yeah, that's that's true, man. Over a year and freeze. Yep. That's what I that's what I'm trying to, you know, when I go shopping, that's what I'm trying to do now. Like get stuff where I can make bulk because money's really tight. So I just try to get stuff where it's in bulk and I could just freeze a lot of stuff and pull it out. You know, pull something out to have a dinner or whatever. That's why I'm making these two things of soup. You know, I'm gonna give my landlord, I'm gonna give him a give him a little container of pea soup. He said he wants to try it. And I'll give my, you know, my family some soup, but the rest of it I'm going to put into containers and freeze it. Whenever I'm in the mood for it, I just pull out a container. I could have, you know, for soup that night, for lunch, whatever. You know. Oh, Evie, my back hurts so bad. Buy value pack and freeze. Bacon, etc. I don't buy bacon. I don't eat bacon really anymore. I eat Taylor ham, pork roll, whatever you want to call it. I pretty much eat pork roll and cheese every breakfast, every day for breakfast, just for the protein and for the fat. And I need to keep up with that, you know. Plus, I eat fruit and stuff in the morning too, but that's my fat in the morning. Or I'll have a bowl of cereal or whatever. No, you can, yeah, it's true. You can you could freeze anything. Like you do a lot, I know you do a lot of cooking on the grill too. Like you have the weather there, so it's a little bit easier. Um, there is a grill out here. You said I can use it, you know, once the weather gets and stuff, the weather gets nicer. So then I'll start buying, you know, packs of like the multi pack of uh, pork chops. You know, they're cheap. Uh, chicken thighs, you know, are super cheap. That's what I used to do when I lived in the other place, you know. Me and my buddy, we used to pitch in and get multi-packs of chicken thighs, multi-packs of, like, pork chops on the bone, and just fire up the cumin and cook them on the grill. It's fast, it's easy, no dishes. Mm-hmm. Yep, legs, thighs. I'm not a big leg guy, but um, I can eat legs, man. I don't mind them. But the thighs are usually cheap. Uh, good pork chops on the bone. Uh, not even the they like the the pork shoulder chops with the bone in the middle, the big ones. I love those, man. Where the meat's like almost pinkish, you know what I'm talking about? FPH. Those are those are good pork chops. I love those, man. I'm not talking like you know pork loin chops, you know like a, those. I'm talking about the those big fat round ones. They're like this big, man, and they got the bone more like in the middle. Those are awesome, dude. I love those. Just a little salt, pepper, a little garlic powder. That's it, bro. I don't, I don't mess with anything too much, too much on there. Those are good, man. Ribs cheap on sale. I like the um. You get the ones on sale, the fat ones. The I think they are pork ribs, but they're not like they're not spare ribs. They're I don't know what they call them. They are just like pork ribs. They have a lot of meat on them. I used to get those, marinate them overnight, and then when I got home from work the next day, whatever, if I was off. Yeah, man. And not a rack though. No, they weren't ribs. They're they're. They're fat, man. I don't know the name of them. I forgot. I think it's, oh, uh, pork ribs picnic. Picnic ribs, I think they're called. Picnic. I believe they're called, yeah. Yeah, baby backs are expensive, though, Mary. They're a little more expensive anyway. Sirloin ribs. No, I don't know. I think they're called pork picnic ribs, I believe. They're like, they're like, like that. They're like fat, longer and fat. And they have a lot of meat on them. So I would marinate them in like a good like Italian dressing or whatever, whatever I wanted to marinate them in before I went to work. If I worked the daytime, and then I would get home and they'd be all marinated. I'd cook them up on the grill. Perk, that's what they're called, sirloin ribs. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're good. Pork steaks. Pork steaks are good too. Now, these are more like ribs. They have a bone like a rib. They just, they just fatter. They have a lot more meat than a regular rib. Baby bags, five dollars a pound. No, yeah. well, there. I don't know how much they are here. Everything's more expensive here, bro. 
I never even got to talk about bingo again or before. I'll have to talk about it tomorrow in the morning. I'm going to tell you what's more. You know what's super expensive here right now, man? Chicken breasts, chicken wings, and ground beef is through the roof. Insanely expensive. I was going to get one pound of ground beef and make like my own version of, uh, I have a couple of boxes of pasta just like halfway. And I was going to cook that and then make ground beef and make like my own, uh, like hamburger helper, like my own version though, like make my own kind of sauce for it and everything. Bro, one, not even one pound. It was a little less than one pound or just a little over one pound or two. It was like eight, nine bucks. I'm like, dude, you're out of your mind. 11 or $12 for the rack of ribs. Yeah. I mean, that's just out of my league right now. I don't have – I am super – listen, Mary, I'm super limited on money right now. So I have to make – you know, when I go shopping, I have to make sure it lasts me, you know, a couple of weeks when I go. Like I have a, I have a few boxes of pierogies in there. That's easy. You know, buy an onion, thing of sour cream, boom, you have a meal. Two meals. One box is like 12 in there. You have two meals. Um, pasta goes a long way. You know, I make a box of pasta, one jar of sauce, bing, bang, boom, you're done. You got two meals right there, you know, maybe three. You know, that kind of stuff like that is what we're talking about. I really need to stretch it. Yeah, you have to, man. I have no choice to, you know. When I go shopping, sometimes I have 60 bucks for two weeks of groceries. That's nothing, especially up here, man. That's expensive. You know, that's all the money I got, but I have to make it stretch. So I got to get, like, three, four boxes of pasta and, like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> got to do what I got to do, man. Got to survive. I have a, a pack of those um, pork chops in there since I moved in. They were, they've been in the freezer. I got to pull them out one of these days when the weather's nice. So I can throw them on the grill. <clears throat> Try to pick a weekend when my maybe my uh, my landlord wants to, you know, cook something, whatever, a side upstairs, and I'll cook the I'll cook the pork chops or whatever. Be cool. Do like a combo. Ramen, add frozen broccoli. Yeah, like stuff like that. Yeah. And the, exactly. I put that, uh, yeah, I still have that in there. I still have the tilapia. I never made either. That's still in there. I still have the tilapia. I have the, uh, the steelhead. I still haven't eaten. Yep. <clears throat> I have things, a cup of noodles, like ramen. Yep. I used to do linguine or ramen with California veggies steamed with butter and Parmesan. That sounds good too. Egg noodles with a can of peas and a can of cream of chicken soup. Then add some cheese at the end to melt. You can even add some of that canned chicken breast. Yeah, that's true. Just have to be creative. That's all it comes down to, really. Be creative and try to stretch your meals out. You know? See, Billy don't forget. He knows that I put that steelhead back in my freezer the other day. I took it out. It was in the fridge for a day. And I was like, you know what? I just didn't feel good and I didn't feel like cooking it. And I said, before it goes bad, just throw it back in the freezer. <clears throat> she adds cheese to chocolate and everything. <laughs> That's true. I love cheese too. Oh, man. 4 30. It feels like 8 30 to me. I'm tired. I'm hurting. All that emotion came out of me, and it took a lot out of me, too. Well, at the same token, I took the rest of my strength with right along with it. Oh, man. But I am going to go do that soup. I have to. If I, don't, I don't want to be lazy because it's so easy for me to say, yeah, I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes, and I don't feel good, and I'll push it off, and then I just get up and I start chopping stuff. I'll get into it. I put some music on, too. Hey, Miss Shaq, what's going on? Nothing much. Just fixing to get off of here in a few. I just came on to let everybody know that I had some good news from my um, – I got some good news from my doctor today. Well, not from my doctor, from my pain management lady. She peeked in at my uh, results from the other day, and a lot of my tumors are shrinking, so that's a good thing. So I just came on to share it with everybody. 
Glad you came in. Uh, put pancake batter on a cinnamon raisin bagel and fry it. Add peanut butter and preserves on top. What? Hold on. I got to read that again. Put pancake batter on a cinnamon raisin bagel and fry it. Wow. Was it, was it food? I made a short. Was it food? Awesome. Yeah, thanks, uh, Meshach. Not bagel. English muffin. Okay. All right, hold on. So put pancake batter on a cinnamon raisin English muffin and fry it. Add peanut butter. But that sounds freaking wicked good. Wow. Oh, yeah, you are. How'd you figure that out? How'd you get back in, Meshach? Oh, that's that's crazy. Huh. I didn't even think I didn't even think twice about it, really. It's got so much on my mind. Split it, make two. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty wicked good, man. I'm sure, they, I'm sure kids like it too. Let me make you a mod again, uh, Meshach. How'd you how'd you do it? How'd you figure it out? I, I you know I know something. I just saw your name and I was happy you were here. I didn't even think twice about uh how you figured it out. Come on, man. My, my laptop is being stunod. I just came in. Oh, wow. Was maybe maybe YouTube figured it out. Okay, I'm trying to make it mod, but my laptop is not cooperating. I think I got it now. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'm going to have to try that. I don't have the English muffins, but I have... Um, I have peanut butter and I have pancake butter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it just fixed itself. That's crazy. <clears throat> sure, I will, but I have to get uh, English muffins. I don't have those. I never really buy them. And if I do, it's usually the regular ones. So I'll have to get the uh, cinnamon raisin ones. That sounds pretty good. Gerald, glad to hear the good news. Time to go and start some dinner for the midget. Good to see you and everyone love your faces. Same thing, Sienna. Don't be a stranger, okay? I appreciate you. Thanks for coming in. I will try it, man, for sure. I just have to get the uh, English muffins, like I said. Cheap. Yeah. I have pancake mix. I always buy pancake mix. Just, I haven't made pancakes in a while, but. I made them a couple weeks ago because I had some bananas that were going bad. So I made banana pancakes. They were really good. I actually made them for me and uh, who had them? Me and my dad, I think. He was here the one morning. Made some coffee and had some pancakes. Oh, no, me and my sister. Yeah, my sister came early at one time when we went to treatment. So I made her breakfast. Glad you're doing better. I keep you in my prayers often. Thank you, Ms. Shack. I appreciate that, sweetheart. <clears throat> yeah, stay safe, Sienna. Don't be a stranger, okay? Hit me up from time to time. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your tests go and everything, all right? I'll keep praying for you, sweetheart. <clears throat> but like I said, we're fixing to get off here, y'all, you because know, I want to go um, I want to go start the soup before it gets too late. It's already quarter to five. By the time I get everything prepped and everything in the pot and it going, it's going to be 5.30, 6 o'clock, so it's going to take at least an hour. Hey, I'm not going to eat that tonight, probably. That sucks. How did you like your – how did you like your gift – which one? You talking about the uh, the paddle canoe thing, the the little placard thing? I think it's awesome. It's actually right ahead of me there. It's on my, uh, I'm in a new apartment. I think I told you. I moved over here like two months ago. Basement apartment. I have it sitting right there. I'm looking at it right now. Yep. I got to cook now too. Yeah, I got to. I don't know. I probably just need something for dinner. I'll make the soup, but I don't think it's gonna be. By the time it's done, it's gonna be like eight o'clock and. I don't, I don't like eating that late, so. Yeah, glad, yeah, I love it. Thank you, honey. I do. I'm looking at it right now. Straight ahead, under the TV. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it.
What the heck was that? Can you hear me? Now you can hear me. Yeah, I had to unplug it. My, uh, for some reason, my laptop uh, speakers ain't working or whatever. It does what I was to the videos, but when I'm live, I have to plug in my headphones. That's my microphone. So I had to unplug it to uh, show you. Yeah, You saw it right under the TV? Yeah. Those TVs are awesome, man. They're mounted on the wall on brackets. They were here when I moved in, and uh, he's like, yeah, I'm going to keep them down here. And the uh, same exact one is he had two of them, and one he has in the living room, and then I have one in the bedroom that's uh, above the fake fireplace there, and I have it. It's on a, on a thing, so I could actually swivel it. So when I'm sitting at the booth in the uh, kitchen, there's a cutout in the wall. He had it made especially like that, so you can turn the TV, and you can watch TV while you're eating dinner. And then I tilt it the other way when I'm laying in bed. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely cool. Yeah, I'd have to, I'll give you a tour another day when I'm on the phone. It's easier for me to walk around. I can show you a layout of the place. I did it on a couple of lives back when I first moved in. But uh, I'll do it again for you one day, Shaq. Um, okay, guys, I'm fixing to get on. I, I want to go make the soup. All right, I don't want to be lazy. So let me get out of here. Um, been live for almost two hours anyway. Um, thank you for the 36 thumbs up, man. That's awesome. I think that's the most thumbs up I've gotten on one of these sit down lives. So I'm glad you were able to get in the shack. So you're back. That's awesome. Soup it up. Thanks FPH. Have a good night, man. Enjoy your dinner. Um, cat Billy. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you to everybody that came in to, um, celebrate the good news. So now we just go forward from now and, uh, that's it. We're going to battle this thing until we get rid of it. So thank you. Appreciate you guys. And, uh, I'm out of here. Peace. Go make that soup. I almost hit end when I read that. <laughs> All right, Mary. Be good. Okay, G, get your soup started. Text or call me later. Have an awesome evening. You too, Mary. Billy, Kat, thank you so much for being here and sharing this with me. I do appreciate it. Uh, text guy, thanks, brother. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Way too many to mention, but thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I love you guys. All right, I'm out. Peace.